Hello, today's video is about the installation of Type E cavity trays. I'm fitting some of these myself and when I looked on YouTube for some information I found very little out there, so hopefully this will be useful to somebody. First of all you need to remove one row of bricks to give you access to the cavity where you want to install the tray. If you don't know how to do this check out my other videos, I've got a brick removal video on YouTube. Once you've got access to the cavity you want to clear out all the debris that's in there, there was lots in this property. And also you want to put your hand up into the gap where the cavity tray is going to sit. Again check for debris, clear it out and also check for wall ties. We've got one here and the only way to accommodate this cavity tray was just to cut out a small section here. So once you're happy you can then dry fit the tray. If you note they have an overhang so if you're fitting them from left to right then this overhang will just engage with the previous cavity tray and provide a watertight joint. So dry fit the tray. Then what you'll do is re replace your bricks and insert a weak vent. And now any water coming down the cavity gets collected by the tray and brought outside. It's actually written on the tray as well but you're not to dry bed these, you're supposed to put mortar underneath, then place the tray and then put mortar around your bricks as well so that's the way I'll be doing it. As I mentioned in my brick removal video, don't remove more than a few bricks at a time. You don't want the wall to collapse. Your neighbours would never let you live that down, would they? I hope this video has been useful for you. Subscribe for more. And in the meantime, don't forget, love life.